Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com, and welcome to, to uh, this video. Um, in, in this topic, I'm going to talk about uh, how complacency kills. Uh, first, I'm going to give you the definition off a of dictionary and get into it after that. So, complacency, a feeling of smug or uncritical satisfaction with oneself or one's achievements. Okay, there's kind of a lot there. Um, complacency, for me, is really the feeling of just being content with not accomplishing or not doing anything to accomplish the goals that you have set out, if you have, to better yourself and better the people around you. Um, there was a point in time where I was pretty complacent about everything that I was where where I was at and um, I, I, I my heart had a lot of hate and a lot of anger in it and I was just bitter about what about some things that had transpired in my history and at the end of the day it wasn't even um, it wasn't even the people's faults it was my fault for not accepting that fact and and not being open to to really understanding why certain um, life directions happened the way that they did right and I was just complacent in in my in my little world um, it all really had to do with snowboarding for me and through sponsors and stuff like that that I mean at the end of the day it was really a lot of my fault for not not taking it as serious I guess as as I should have but with that said like you know cancer's the, cancer's the thing that really helped me realize just how fortunate that I was and just how lucky I was that I was able to live a life that was really really unique and really lucky and 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 to enjoy enjoy a lifestyle that was really really cool and I was really closed off and closed minded um, to that fact and cancer was the thing that really helped pop me out of it um, and helped me appreciate what was given to me at an early age out of high school and and it took me a long time to to really figure out the whole thing that was going on here, right? Like, I had a lot of things that were going on in my head that that I that complacency really helped build, and I was battling my ego and a lot of issues. So, cancer at the end of the day really probably helped save my life. Um, <laughs> it it was a way to open up the world of what what was really important and it took some time to really bring it all bring it all ahead and help me realize it and the path that I took um, was an unconventional one and one that I had no help with but had to figure it out on my own and complacency really at this point in my life has no part in anything that I do now. Um, sure there are times that I get a little lazy and a little bit um, where I'm tired and I need to have a break and that's okay but the main focus is to continue working forward and keep moving forward with with the goals and with the ambitions that I've set out not only with the internal architect but also with the nonprofit strap in for life um, at the end of the day, you know, if you have things that are keeping you busy and that you're doing things to help create positive change and and promote well-being, then then you know people start to pick up on that and people start to see um, that you are doing good things. One of the things I've really taken a big step back on is the social media side of life. Um, Facebook which I like to call the big 800 pound gorilla in the room and Instagram is even starting to kind of take a little bit of a back seat for me because 
my focus and my goals is more important than wasting the time that I would be on on those platforms and at the end of the day they are they are incredibly useful tools and incredibly useful um, platforms to help share your um, uh, your message and your and your and what you're doing right um, but there's a point to where how much time are you actually using these tools to help you with what you want to accomplish and how much time you're wasting on it they want you to be on it all the time the more time that you're on it the more that they are actually making money and more that it's benefiting them and at the end of the, at the end of the day for me at the end of the day for everyone you know in order to start removing hate and everything else that's going on in our lives we got to stop being so overly informed of all the information that we are bombarded with on a minute by minute, second by second basis. So I took a huge step back from these. I'm doing more things that I really enjoy. One is getting in front of the video and, and, and trying to explain my thoughts to you about it and why. And two, just getting the exercise and being outside because it's way more fun to be outside than in front of a computer screen. So why do I feel complacency kills? I feel it kills because if you're not working on doing things that are going to better yourself and your family and doing those things that are a bit selfless, then you're only staying within the rabbit hole and you're not accomplishing things that you can be proud of, that you can feel like you've accomplished and can say, all right, you know, this is awesome. Now the next thing. So do things that will make you feel good get outside, get inspired, do do anything that will help you move that needle forward for yourself, okay? If you like what you hear, um, click in the uh, click me, leave me a comment down below and if uh, if you like my content also hit subscribe so you know when I'm releasing new stuff. Um, really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your um, your day and and the, the time it took for you to watch a video. So enjoy the afternoon. Um, have a great rest of the weekend and I will see you on the next video.